I bought every popular clone of this legendary fragrance so you don't have to. That's right, today we're talking about Creed Aventus, the legendary signature scent that is no longer worth buying. So apparently there are controversies about Creed's branding, about how they made perfumes for the royal family. Apparently that's not true, I don't know about that. And apparently there's a lot of controversy about the, con the perfumer who made uh, Creed Aventus. There's a whole book called The Ghost Perfumer, which I haven't really looked much into. Today I'm not talking about that, I'm talking about the smell. I'm a very simple guy, doesn't smell good. <laughs> and basically this used to smell incredible. Creed Aventus, it was the most, one of the most well-sold men's fragrances of all time. It's, you know, sold for £250, price tag, but still very popular. Legendary, people were obsessed with the variations and batches. And that was another controversy of this fragrance as well, the batch variations, which is a bit strange. They're, most fragrances don't have that kind of variation, but people were just probably just a, a little bit over-obsessed. Um, and eventually this fragrance did get reformulated and it's not really as good as it used to be. Let me explain it. So what is Creed Aventus? Creed Aventus is like a signature scent for a bright, um, clean signature for a professional man, I would say. It is. The main notes are pineapple, citruses, birchwood, which gives like a dry, smoky character to the fragrance, and then ambergris, which gives a nice mineralic musk to a fragrance. Packed with naturals, clean, bright, professional, signature material you'd wear all year round, but probably better for the warm weather overall, Creed Aventus. To me, it's now, it used to be a legendary cologne that had more of an effervescence, a sparkle to it, back maybe five years ago. Uh, and now I feel like these formulations, so this is my 2022 bottle, I feel like it lies flat. I'll leave the batch variation for this bottle in the description below as well, guys. The scent was a great signature because it was very distinct. In 2010, this would have been something legendary, it would have been revolutionary. I don't think anything would have smelled like it. Now, of course, this fragrance was so popular, it's produced about a million clones. I went to the bottom of the Fragrantica page of Aventus, I went to the per this perfume reminds me of section, and I picked basically the main popular clones around nowadays. Today we're reviewing six clones. There are some that I missed out, such as Rosasi Zebra, which doesn't really get talked about much nowadays. It used to be more popular back in the day, I think. I feel like there's better alternatives now. And I couldn't find Zara's Vibrant Leather, which is annoying because yeah, it's very popular, but it seems to be discontinued. If you guys know about it, let me know, but I can't find it anywhere. Let's review the clones. First of all, we need to talk about the OG clone, Club de Nuit Intense Man Eau de Toilette. This was legendary because finally, the broke boys like us could get Creed Aventus for an affordable price. It had a very good performance back in the day. It smelled like a smoky batch of Aventus um, in the, the original Club de Nuit variation. A lot of people said the opening was harsh, it smelled like Lemon Pledge. I got my bottle in 2020 of the Eau de Toilette and I thought, yes, the opening was harsh. The quality overall was synthetic. It wasn't as natural smelling as Aventus. It had an okay performance for about six to eight hours. But overall, nowadays, you don't really need to get the Eau de Toilette of, of Club de Nuit Intense Man. It got reformulated, so it's not as strong as it used to be. It's still a very solid fragrance for the price. It'll get you compliments, but now there's a better alternative. Club de Nuit Intense Man Eau de Parfum, which is basically just a bigger bottle. This still smells like a smoky variation of Creed Aventus, focusing more on the birchwood. But now it's just going to last longer, about 12 hours. It's just a bit closer to the skin, so soft and moderate projection. Smoother blend, smells higher quality. I would say 90% similarity to Creed Aventus if, if I had to give it a number. So I think currently this is the best version of Club de Nuit compared to, to the EDT. So between EDT, EDP, get the Eau de Parfum. Then we have Al Haramain's La Venture. This clone I think is incredible. It's an eighth of the price of Aventus. I think it smells better than Aventus. It smells like a fruity variation. So this is more focused on the pineapple of Aventus and it lasts longer. So the problem with my batch, this 2022 batch of Aventus is that it lasts four to six hours. And it smells flat. <laughs> it doesn't smell effervescent and sparkly anymore. This smells better. This doesn't smell better than the old legendary formulation of Aventus, but it smells better than the modern formulation. Six to eight hours, soft to moderate projection, very accurate. This is now maybe 95% similarity to Aventus. It's very close. It's just very, very high quality and smooth. It's just, this is very incredible perfumery for the price. But if you want to stay similarly priced to Aventus, you can go for Nishani's Hashivat, which I have my two 
ML sample here, and I'm wearing it currently. Now, Hashibat is not a clone of Aventus, I would say, but it's definitely inspired by it. It is Nishani, which is a Turkish fragrance house. Uh, it's their take on Aventus. They've amped up the pineapple, so it's very fruity, and I've amped up a lot of oak moss in this fragrance. So it's a very mossy, warm, natural smelling, and I would say more mature smelling version of Aventus, in my opinion, or the Aventus family. So this is an intense <laughs> beast mode, maybe yeah, more mature signature scent for all year round. The great reason why you'd be paying for the price is that you are getting performance here. This really is a very long lasting fragrance, over 12 hours, moderate projection. So the clones of Aventus generally aren't gonna match both the quality and the performance like you get here. So this is a very high quality, packed full of naturals in my opinion, and very long lasting. So yes, you will be getting what you pay for here, unlike the current formulations of Aventus. <laughs> Then we have Mancera Cedraboise, which is another inspired by Aventus, but not exactly a clone type of fragrance. Has similar characters, but uses different notes. So instead of pineapple, it goes more for black currants. Instead of a smokiness and dryness from birchwood, it kind of gets that from its leather notes instead. And instead of the ambergris, I feel like this uses other musks instead. It's still very woody, citrusy, smoky, and fruity, like Aventus, but not Ventus, if you know what I mean. So definitely inspired by it. Mancera's take on fragrances is that it usually goes for a more synthetic direction, but still creative and very long lasting. The original formulation of Cetra Boise, this fragrance also got reformulated. This used to last over 14 hours. It was beast mode and got me many, many, many compliments. It was a, it's a very good compliment grabbing fragrance. It is a more synthetic version of the Ventus family DNA with its own twist that I feel it was a bit screechy. It was a bit too intense for the wearer originally. They've toned it down now. The modern formulation is about eight hours. I would actually recommend getting Mancera Sadraboise's Intense, which adds their own synthetic oud accord. It smells like synthetic oud to me. And it's longer lasting, smoother, it lasts 12 hours. So it's a very solid alternative to Aventus. And it's this DNA won our uh, public reaction battle between Aventus, Explorer, and this. Speaking of Explorer, let's discuss that. I've bought the bottle twice now. It's a cheap, easy blind buy fragrance that I've now gifted away twice. It is, again, more towards the cloning side of Aventus. So it's not just inspired, but I think it, it was Mont Blanc trying to clone it, but it's, they have put on their own twist into the fragrance. It is less pineapple-y. It probably still has fruity molecules in there, but it's less pineapple, more smoky, more woody. So it's more, focused more on the citruses. I think it has lime in the note breakdown. It's yeah, got agacala wood, which I feel like is more heavier, creamier wood. It has a long lastingness to it. It lasts about six to eight hours, but it's gonna be softer to the skin. I feel that Mont Blanc Explorer is great for the price. The price value proposition is the best bit about it. And I think it's the best clone to go for if you want something that's inoffensive, something that's very easy to wear for school or for work. And finally, Afnan Supremacy, not only intense. I think this came out recently as we're getting a lot of hype in the community. To me, this smells like a middle ground clone between Aventus and Hashibat by Nishani. It smells like an intense fruity variation, heavy on a pineapple batch of Aventus at the beginning and the opening. And as it dries down, I feel like this has a lot of oak moss in it. The Top and the mid are the best bit of the fragrance in my opinion. I think the dry down, which comes about after six hours. So this fragrance lasts about six to eight hours of the more moderate projection. I think that's when it becomes its most synthetic. Before that, it smells very high quality. And I think if you want the, the, the closest thing to a clone of Hashivat, which I don't think really exists at the moment, this is gonna be your best bet. Good quality. Um, and it has a luxuriousness to it. But I don't think it, you know, a lot of people hype this a lot. I'm not sure if it deserves that much hype. It might not be my favorite, but it's definitely a solid clone of Aventus, or that DNA at least. Some people might still swear by Aventus. They might say, oh, you know, you just got a bad batch, Omar. But I think if you are playing, having to play luck of the draw with a 250 pound fragrance, I don't think it's worth it. So let's summarize what the clones uh, are again and what their main strengths are. So if you want the best longevity for your clone of Aventus, go for Club de Nuit Intense Man Eau de Parfum, lasting 12 hours. If you want compliments, go for Mancera Cedra Boise, Intense. If you want the most resemblance to Aventus, 
as close as possible, go for Al Haramain's La Benchure. If you want the most luxurious smelling clone, go for Nishani's Hashivat, which isn't really a clone and it's luxurious in its own way. If you want the most luxurious affordable clone, <laughs> you go for Supremacy Not Only Intense by Afnan. And finally, if you want the most inoffensive clone of Aventus that was good for the workspace or for school, go for Mont Blanc Explorer. I hope you enjoyed this video guys, did you find it useful and what do you think about the clones of Creed? Are there any that you feel that I've missed in this video that should have been included? What are your thoughts on Creed Aventus in today's modern formulation? Share all your opinions down in the comments down below guys. Thank you for watching guys, make sure to check out our other buying guys in the meantime, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.